So I want to do some review just to get some of the people that's new. Uh, I missed some of the very beginning. And it's going to help you all too. And Amy, I hate to ask you this, but I think Coco said you had some questions the other day. Oh, um, I know you got COVID. <laughs> well, my brain's a bit fuzzy, but oh, you know what it was? Yes, ma'am. I, I, uh, really loved the phrase, um, and I, I don't know how to say it in English, but it was regarding how you don't make promises for what's to come. Uh -huh. And uh, you said your mama said it a lot. And um, I loved that phrase. And then I lost it in my notes. I wrote it down. And But um, you said it was regarding about how, when you were talking about it, you said it was about like the scripture that says about the thief that comes in the night. Uh -huh. But it wasn't, it wasn't a translation of that. It was just like saying, you're not going to make a promise because you don't know what tomorrow holds. But that wasn't the wording in it. That was okay. the idea behind it. Okay, I'll uh, have to think about that. <laughs> and then I'll get back with you on that, okay? Madame, I, I can't even remember what it was. Um, I sure loved it. I just love the concept of it. And I thought that was just beautiful. And I thought, I'm going to memorize that. <laughs> I'll go back to my past one and I'll see what it was, okay? Okay, I'll go back to thank past you. Ones. I can do that, yeah. Thank so, you. I sure will. You'll get it. Um, okay. Istungon Jokayadega. Istungon Jokayadega. That's for one person. And you know, the Indian changes. Remember that now. Always remember that the Indian changes. Um, the Indian is something that um, you'll be able to tell in the, you know, that, that's how one way you can tell is look at your Indian and pay attention to him. I got something here. Just... Oh, somebody, did you get that? Yeah, good. Well, you know, uh, I had that water break and I was gone for a while. We're still cleaning up. It's not an easy job to clean up after a flood, you know? And even it's been since last Tuesday, it was since Tuesday, we're still on it. And well, we got one fixed and then another one popped up. And I think it was the cold weather we had. When we got that real cold weather, I think it got it, you know, and I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> we're still, what we was working on it last night. I don't know if we're ever gonna get done. We gotta pull that carpet out though. So anyway, is one person. Is And I want y'all to hear the tone. Is This makes that a question. So you're saying, did you make it through the night okay? And you know, that's one of the things with our language. We don't have good morning. We really don't have please, but like if you need help, like you saying help me, you would say I'm a Can you help me? Or Can you help us? See that tone is saying can you help us in a way that's saying can you know that tone says please can you you know? So that's where that kind of the tone kind of comes in on that too. Uh, so, remember your tones, okay? Remember your tones. And I'm going to, oh, look here. We're going to have fun today. And this is because, you know, some of them didn't get to this. And then we just had a discussion in our office while ago um, with um, sounds and how people are kind of mispronouncing words, you know? So I thought, well, this is one way and uh, to teach how this works, okay? So we're gonna go through this. So when you, uh, 
And this is something that we're going, uh, and this is for today. Tomorrow we'll start on something else. But I just want to make sure that everybody is using this. And, you know, I started teaching college. My first class was Tuesday night. So I told them, you know, uh, learn your sounds. It helps with spelling. It helps with reading. And it helps with um, uh, enunciation, pronouncing the word. But I said, what you have to do, look up that word in the dictionary, but you got to know how to spell it and read it and see it before you can even look it up. You know, so, uh, so that's why uh, I'm kind of going back over this, you know, because uh, my class said they went over it, but it wasn't, they were having a hard time retaining it. So with my class, I'm going to have to keep going over it until I'll make sure that it becomes second nature to them. You know, just looking at it and saying it. Okay. Ah. G, I, E, B, P, A, G, L, M, N, O, B, C, C, D, U, A, W, Y. And you know, um, all your life, you've been looking at these and and looking at this as an English letter. And they are English letters. The difference is, is they have sounds. You know, all your life, you've been seeing this A. And, and, and I have. When I started school, I saw A. A, C, E. But... In the Muscogee, it's A, ah, G, E. This is a short E, guys. This is a short E. This is a long E. The first one is short. The second one is E, and you'll hear the difference. A, ah, G, E, E, C. And um, where I'm going to get my class to do, and I told them that, and maybe in a month, we probably will be spelling off, and I will. I want them to spell it off. Ah, and I want y'all to listen now. Ah, as in off key. Do you hear? Off key. Ah. Ayo. Ayo. And, and you know, off key is like a super stew, but we're not saying stew. Soup or stew, I would spell soup S O U P, but you would spell off key, off key, -e. right? Uh -huh. Off key, -e. because off key is not an English word, and I don't know if there's anything close to that as far as the English word goes. Okay, the next word is ayo. Hear that? A, ayo. Ayo. Ayo is a hawk. And a hawk is H A W K in English, hawk. But this is not, this is ayo. This means a hawk. Ayo. See, our, our uh, language is sound, so it's I O. So see when I say our language is sound, you're not you're you're spelling it A F G E I E O. And when you say that A F G E is spelling off key. And I E O is I O. See how they're sounds? You know, and G, G is gypsy. And remember, I told you this, when you have two consonants like this, 
you have to pronounce both of them because there's no silent sounds as far as the Muscogee language goes. So just see. And you're making that hissing sound on the first C. Just see is a mouse. Okay, but this is not, this is a mouse, but this is in the Muscogee language. So we would spell it G-E-C-C-E. -E. And if you say that double consonant, just, you're not exactly saying C, but you got a hissing sound. If you say it, you'll hear just C. And only the last two sounds are said, just C. You're going C. And remember, I told you to remember where your tongue is, where, how your mouth is shaped, how everything is uh, in your mouth, because a lot of it, they say there's no silent sounds, but sometimes you can feel it. You can feel it. I'm not going to say sometimes. I'm going to say you can feel it, okay? Just see. Just see. G-R-C-E. Just see is a pumpkin. Jesse is a pumpkin. And, and while we're going over this, you're learning these different uh, words too. And you know, um, Jesse means something to me. It's a pumpkin. And a pumpkin means something to the whole world. It means a pumpkin. <laughs> okay. Ja. Geben. Okay, there's no silent sounds, but you spell it G R E G E B E N E. Geben. Okay, there's no silent sound, but right here, you'll notice there's a he in there. You don't hear that he, but you will hear that. Ja even barely there, but it's there. Ja. If you'll say ja, even, you feel that <sighs> barely there. And that and that's not a silent sound, but you can feel it. Ja, even. And you would spell that G R E G E B E N E. Because I have to spell it that way. Because it's a Muscogee word. This means five. So when I say Jahkeben, it's a Muscogee word. If I was a five, five is F-I-V-E. And that's what everybody knows. But when you say Jahkeben, that's all five. But we Got have it. to spell it G I. Oh, that wasn't easy. G I he G E B E N. Getting old, Becky. E E E is short E, and I want you can hear this now. G E E E G E E G E is head. E R O is tree. E P O G E P O G is a sign. Ipuji. So, you know, you can hear this now, and I'm going to go through the longi. Here's the longi. E, this was I, this is E, as in I Dalwa. Hear that E? I Dalwa. I Dalwa is a nation or even a tribal ground. I Gana. I Gana. I Gana is land or the world. Either way, that's where situation environment comes in. E bargain. E bargain. That's six. And see, we have tones. If you listen to me, you'll hear my tone and my accent. Fee. Fee. As in figi. Fee-e-gi-e. -e. Figi is a heart. Here we go with not hearing something. Here's another, I think is silent, but you can feel it. But, ja. But, 
the T sound, the D sound is on top of your, your tongue is on top of your palate behind your front teeth. But, ja. But, ja. You can bear, you can hardly, you can feel it, but it's not silent. But, ja. Is the truth. Pushwa. Pushwa is bird. Pushwa. You know, you spell, everybody spells B I R D, bird. That's my maiden name, but mine was B Y R D, and it used to be B I R D. But when the dolls' row came in, they changed my spelling to B Y to English, B Y R D. And um, um, my grandpa or my great grandpa was Sonny Fushwa. He was Sonny Fushwa. So, you know, they on a, they changed it to Sunny Bird on the Dawes Road. So this is spelled B U C W I A. B U C W I A. He as in his J. His J. He E C G A. He A D G E. Hatki is white. Hangen, he a me ki e ni. He a me ni. I mean, he a me ki e ni. Hangen is one. This is sometimes hard to see right here. The I is the A sound. So when you look at this, you when you see this, you got to pronounce it as an A. Hey ye. Hey ye. He a ye e. Hey ye. Legida. That's hot. Hey ye's hot. Legida to sit. Lee a ki e di a. Bakida. Bakida. B A G E D A to a uh, hoop. Like at our ceremonial grounds, they hoop. That's what ours is called. But you hear the A in it? Hey, ye. Legida. Bakida. Ki, as in ki. Ki, and you know, it got the ki e. That's a mulberry. Gajo, gajo, gi a chi o. That's our blackberries. Gabi, gabi, gi a b e. That's so. Lee, as in litki. Loja, lam he. Litki is run. Loja is turtle. Lam he is ego. And you know, when I look at these words, more than half the world says the great ego or ego. Look at that ego. We say lam he. Lam he. We don't have to put great in there. Because we know that to us, situation and environment, Lamhi is the most, is a powerful bird. You know, it means a lot to us. So we don't have to put, look at that great eagle. We just say Lamhi. Li ah mi hi hi. Me as in ma hi. And I'm going to explain this later, but you don't hear me and ma hi, but we're going to go into that. And this is, I'm hoping you can get this. Mahi means tall. Mi ahi i. Mado. Mado means thank you. Mi ahi o. Mi just. Mi i ji asi. Mi i ji asi. And um, mi just means do it. Like um, you do your homework. And if they say no, you say me just. It's a statement. Me just. Uh, a command. You do it. 
ni as in najomi ni achi o mi e najomi is how many na again is what nodi is teeth o oba this is not pronounced o it is pronounced o Put in an attitude with that. Oh, oh, it's oba, oba, obia, oba, obia. You can just about hear that uh, word, oba, obia. Oba is a noun. Oshki, osh, hear that C in there? Oshki, osh. O C K E O W A O W A O W A B as in busco busco you don't hear it okay this is another one that's kind of confusing C this is you know all your life you've been looking at an R but in our language it's C busco hear that. C in there, B A C K O bus. You can hear that C bus go. Buski, hear that? Hear that C B U C K E B U C K E Buski, our father. Bomi, Bomi is us. Okay, Bomi, B U M I E. C. And, and you know, when you've been looking at an R all your life, you see R. But since our language is sounds, it's C. C as in taco. C R K K O. Okay, here we go with that double consonant. Taco. You don't say that first one, but your mouth, your tongue is kind of back up behind. Kind of goes back, so, and you can feel it. C is a bullet or an arrow. C E, C E, C, and you can only use that for a bullet or an arrow. Sato, sato, sato is a fish. C R C O, sato. C as in sasakwa, sasakwa, sasakwa is a goose, sasakwa. C R C R kiwi a. That's a goose. Sada, C R C R sada is an apple. Soda, C U T A. It is a sky. D as in Tinit ki. Okay, hear that. Tinit ki. Tinit ki. Tinit ki. Tinit ki. That's a thunder. Dolosi. This is an old word. We just call it dolosi now, and it's a chicken. But we just name it dolosi. But way back, they called it do. Do the lost. D O D O L O C E. Losi. Do the losi. Do chine. D U T G E N E N E. Do chine. That's three. U as in chola. Chola. Chola is a fox. G U L I A. Budgie. Oh, Cody. Cody is a little frog. Cody is a little frog. And it's G U T E. Kojasi. Kojasi is the owner of something. And it's B U G R C E. Kojasi. Uh, here's that uh. That's where that J C. J C. G R C E. B G. A G. We as in Wasco, we 
asikio. We asikio. Wasco. That's a chigo. Waga. Waga. We are kia. That's a cow. Weasel. We isikio. Weasel sassafras. Ye. Okay, how many out there knows what sassafras is? Do y'all know what sassafras, sassafras tea is? Duchini means three. It means three. Duchini. Okay. Duchini means three. It means the number three. Um, then we got Yaha. Yaha. Ye are he are. Yaha is a wolf. Yafki, ye afi ki e. Yafki means even. Yanasa, yanasa. That is we, I mean, ye a ni a si a. That's a buffalo. Yes, that's a prestige. And it's called we show. We show. And, you know, uh, everybody says that's a fresh tea. And we just, you know, the way we are, we're weasel. Weasel. I think that's so pretty sometimes, just the way we say things, you know, and I, I that's where you get uh, this uniqueness. That there is so unique to me. The other day, I told my little grandson, I said, wait, it goes. He goes, and you know, he, he got upset because he was doing what he wanted to do. And I said, wait, Gus, you know, and he was like, he pouted his lip at me, you know. Okay, now this is two letter sounds. This is when you put G and A. Uh, and I'm going to tell you when we get through all this, every one of these sounds makes a Muscogee word. That's how the monstrous sounds. Ja, she, j, jo, ju, ja, ba, be, be, bo, bu, ba, ga, ki, ge, go, gu, ga, ha, he, hey. Ho, who, ha. La, li, lay, lo, lu, la. Ma, me, may, mo, mu, ma. Na, ni, nay, no, nu, na. Ba, be, bay. Bo, bu, ba. Sa, ti, te, to, tu, sa. Sa, si, se, so, su, sa. Da, di, de, do, du, da. Wa, we, way. Wo, wo, wa. Ya, ye, ye, yo, you, ya. Okay, this is where it gets a little complicated, but these are in, there's Muscogee words with this. Af, if, af, of, oof, af. Ak, ik. Ek, ok, uk, ak. Al, il, el, ul, ul, al. Am, im, aim, um, um, am. An, in, aim, on, un, an. Ab, im, aim, o, u, am. As, is, Ace, os, us, us. 
at, it, ate, ot, ut, at. And as funny as it sounds, there are, those letters are in, those sounds, I want to say sounds, are in a Muscogee word. Very Muscogee words. Okay, look here. We even go to three-letter sounds. In these three-letter sounds, you know, uh, if you study these sounds and look at your words, they're all in there. may be hard, but if you just look at your dictionary and kind of go through it, you'll find every one of these sounds in there. Sock, seek, sake, sook, soup, suck. Lock, leak, lake, look, loop, luck. Moss, meese, mace, moss, moose, must, must. Moss, meese, mace, moss, moose, must. Okay. Mot, meat, mate, moat, moot. Mut. Hot. Heek, hake, hook, hook, huck. Hoss, he's, hay's, hoss, hoos, hus. Mock, meek, make, mook, mook, muck. Remember now, up here, they sound alike, but right here was ma, mot, meet, mate, moot, moot, mut. Down here, it's mock, meek, make, mook. Mook, muck, ma, mon. That looks like man, but it ain't. When we say me, ah, ni, me, ah, ni, mon, men, main, mun, moon, man. Hull, hill, hair, hole, hull, hull. Knock, neek, nake, nook, nook, nut. Fast, feast, face, force, boost, fuss. Okay, I want to let you, uh, we're going to go skip to this one right here because we don't have much time, but I want to do this. We're going to go over this, okay? Hish J is hello. Hish J. Now I do another version, but I had to pull it up, so I didn't pull it up today. And, you, and your response would be, Hish J, how are you? Is don't go. Uh -huh. See, it's saying, how are you? It's saying, actually, are you fine or are you okay? This is a literal translation for Istongo. Are you okay? Uh -huh. Jinda, and you? Istongezos, I'm fine. Jihijayat, hitos. It is good, I've seen you right here. Jihijayat, okay? Jimio. You too. We haven't seen each other in a long time, and that's back then it was like that. Dihiji, you got. Dihiji, you got. Hofunitos. Dihiji, you got. Hofunitos. That means we haven't seen each other in a long time. Um, Mondos, that's true. Abaldagi Dunga, Dungon Fula. About that, you don't want for la. This how's the family? How the rest of the people? Don't want for this. They are okay. Jinakta, how about your family? They're asking. It's yours. Greetings to a visitor. Ajibas. Ajibas, come on. Just come in. Legibas. Damn. Stop leggy bus. Have a seat. Knock is kida chia jigo. Knock is kida chia jigo. You want something to drink? Coffee or J dos? I have coffee. Home bit a chia home bit chia store. That's what I uh, I told that to my daughter uh, the other night. I said, "Home with the Giaji go." Or I said, "Home with the Giaji do what?" Salagat cha, salagat cha. 
You made it back. Talakke. Oh, this supposed to be talakke. E. Talakke cha. But there is a talakke cha. That means you come back. Um, talakke cha. Did you make it back? Jihi cha says, I'll see you again. Haram talakka chi. Haram talakka chi. That means not to come back. That means don't come back here. Okay. Here we go. Now, this is going to be something new, remember? Uh, uh huh. Uh, can you go back to that um, uh, last page before you get to the trees? Oh. Okay. There you said uh, you made it back. Uh huh. Come back. Uh, did you make, uh, let's see. Okay. I made it back. Right. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. that's the way I've always heard it, you know, with that TH sound. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, uh -huh. Okay, I wasn't hearing it. And uh, so, <laughs> and you know, that's a lot of times, you know, <laughs> my granny uh, ears weren't hearing it. <laughs> you know, a lot of times we mispronounce words because we're not hearing it right. But mm -hmm. you let me know if you can't hear it, you know, let mm -hmm. me know. Mm -hmm. Okay, Madu. remember I told you we was going to do trees and bugs, but there's more, you know, just typical tree, just a tree. It can be ido, ido, that's all it is, ido. That's in general, no, um, no, no, uh, uh, identifying on that, it's just ido, just trees, okay? But we do have different trees, and that's what I was going to take you to because uh, I told you there's more than one thing, okay? Look here, acorn tree, acorn, acorn, acorn tree. Luck, ja, luck, ja. So when you say lakja, we mean acorn, acorn, acorn tree. Sarasakko, sarasakko is an apple, apple tree. Bagana dinibi, they call that an apricot, an apricot. And some of these trees are not in our area. But you know, uh, that's what we picked up, so we're we're using this birch achalaliska achalaliska. That means it's diving in, it's in the water, it's in the water. Black gum hilokhaga hilokhaga, and hilok is shortening for hilokwa. Hilokhaga. Black locust. Jahatta. 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 Okay, black jack. Sija. Sija. And you know, it makes you wonder why they, you know, I guess that's the original name. But to me, when you say Sija or black jack, So when you talk, you know, this, it's got, everything's got its own little uh, definition of words for it, not just ido. But now if you're talking about just tray, uh, trees in general, say ido. When you're going to do this, you know, make sure that you got it right. Um, black oak, luck jabilusti. Black eye, Allah. Okay, Buckeye. You know, in our tribe, this is um, considered lucky. My dad used to carry that in his pocket all the time. Allah. Allah. Buckeye. Allah. Burr. Gala. A burr. Gala. 
Agina, cedar. And we use a lot of cedar. That's one of our main things, cedar. Agina, Agina, A-G-E-N-I-A, Agina. But listen to this next one, cherry. Tofambi, Tofambi. Chestnut, Oro, Oro, Oro. Chanaberry, uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> Hadam, could you go back to, um, uh, I think it's 10, number 10 or number 9, where you I, had that book tie? Okay. Oh, number 10. Nine. Number 10, Buckeye. Buckeye, Allah. Or Ijo Dofwa, Magido, Ijo Dofwa. Mm hmm. But we knew it as Allah. Okay. Uh huh. I See, love, where uh, I live, we don't have trees, so yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I'm in your way. <laughs> it seems like it's a long, deserty road. Tumbleweed okay. is all I know. <laughs> oh, no. Uh -huh. Okay. Chestnut. Odo. Odo. Chinaberry. Gonab Haga. Gonapaga. Gona is a short for Gonawa. Gonapaga. Cottonwood. Dustaka. Dustaka. Hear that he in there? Dustaka. It's right here at the base of your throat. Uh, crab tree. Ijo. Imbagana. Dog, dog, dogwood. Adapha. Elm. The full show. The full show. Fig. Gizako. See all these right here? It's a, a, I don't know, they just got names. Look how many names we got. Uh, Hackberry, Gabo Bachka, Gabo Bachka, it's Hackberry, Gabo Bachka. Hickory, Uji Sako, Uji Sako. Maple, Hino, Hino. Mistletoe, do it illegal. Remember, this was that, that's what I was telling you, do it illegal. Do it illegal made this out there. You can't kill it, it doesn't die. Mulberry is ski. It says ski has fruit, but not male or Chinese uh, eaters. And pear, sadaf, goma, pecan, uji, jep, goji, okay, uh, pear, sadaf, goma, and some people say this Ijo Ibagana, but we've never called it that. We just called it Sadaf Goma. Pakan. Somebody got a question? Pakan or pecan. It depends on where you're from, how you pronounce it. Uji Jap. Goji is supposed to be goji right here. Oji, jap, goji. That means a long, uh, oji means in general, a nut, okay? Just a nut in general. But when you put jap goji on there, it means long. Jap goji, jap goji, should have a K right here. 
right there. Chup kuji, kuji jup kuji, a little, a little long nut, you know, a little long. So that's what that is, a little, you know, so that's kind of descriptive too. Mahaya, uh -huh. I have two questions. Um, okay. uh, one is about the mulberry, um, uh -huh. about, and you may have just explained this and I wasn't paying attention, but but y'all don't eat the mulberries? Oh, we do. Okay, because I do. <laughs> I love them. But what what does that mean about not eating on number 26? Male and female has fruit, but not eaten male and female. You know what? A boda. A boda. I don't know where this comes from. You know what? I gotta look that see what that is. Now, uh, it might have been a Jinnah. Like the um, I don't know. I just say ghee has fruit, but not eaten male and female. Okay, that is a jina, the uh, the uh, cedar. It's typed in the wrong place, but cedar is called a jina, and it's got uh, the male and female, and they don't eat those. It's got fruit, but they don't eat them. Okay. Makes sense. My second one, Mahaya, was um, because we have this everywhere out here. So this might be just from the old time, but uh -huh. cypress trees. Do you have a word for I, cypress trees? You know what? No, because we don't have cypress. We don't have cypress trees. And this uh, this is in our area that we do have, you know, uh, but I've never heard of a cypress tree, but I'll see. I'll see if we do, okay? Uh, and it. keep mulberry, you know what? Uh, we don't do nothing with ghee, and they may be anybody out there. We just ate them. Same here. <laughs> or anything with it, I don't think. Like we did blackberries with blackberry, we made blackberry cobbler, we made blackberry dumplings. You know, like uh, grape dumplings, we made that. But you know, we never, I don't I recall anybody making anything more than we would stay in that tree. My mom hated it because we would get to play with them too. And that stain, it never came out. <laughs> when it stained your clothes, it didn't come out. And so she knew, you know, where we was at. Because we were already stained up, you know, <laughs> we got home. So it was it was an interesting <laughs> thing, you know. <laughs> we played a lot, you know. And where we used to live, uh, uh, we lived by a school when my father passed away. And, you know, of course, we stayed there after he passed. And he was just starting to build a house. He was just beginning to build a house. And, and you know, he knew he wasn't uh, going to live. So he told my mom, he said, you finish that house and you move those kids into it. You know, but we lived by this school. And right down the road from there was a mulberry tree. And, I mean, we stayed in that mulberry tree in the summertime. I don't know how long. We'd go up there. And we'd eat those mulberries, and then, you know, we, of course, we were stained up. And uh, I fell out of that tree. <laughs> yeah, me and my friends, we were in it. And, uh, and of course, I was, the, I was the only girl with a lot of boys, you know. So they climbed the top of the tree, and I was on the bottom. We climbed it so we wouldn't have to, you know, we were eating off of it anyway. So one fell off and he clipped my shoulder, and there I went. When he clipped my shoulder, I fell out of the tree, too. And, you know, uh, we were tough, I guess, because we didn't get hurt. Lucky we didn't get hurt. But I would not let my kids climb a tree right now for anything, you know. I, would let, I don't let my kids do what I did when I was younger. <laughs> 
Because, <laughs> you know, and I told my, I told my, uh, me and my friends would be talking and I said, you know, we're, we're lucky to be alive with some of the things we did, you know, but, you know, we were, we didn't have computers or cell phones. So we had to have an imagination. And I wonder if these kids nowadays have an imagination. Do they have an imagination like we did? You know, we had to make something that uh, we played with. You know, we had to have something that we had to make up to play. We were never bored. And we always stayed outside. You know, so uh, it wasn't, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, let me finish this. Buckeye is a lot. Burr is gala, a type of oak. Cedar, here we go, ajina, ajina. Cherry, dofunbi. And you know that funbi means smelly or odor. I don't know, I've never smelled a cherry tree. I've seen them, the wild cherry tree, dofunbi. In fact, uh, one year, uh, that's when one of my oldest daughters was just, she was by herself. She was just a little girl. We didn't have the other two kids. And uh, um, she said, uh, there was this man with a cherry tree in his yard. And he told my little girl, he said, I'm giving you that cherry tree. He goes, that cherry tree is yours. You take it. Well, uh, she said, it's mine. And he said, yeah. Take it. Well, uh, when we got, uh, we she wanted those cherry trees like you just don't know what, because she thought it was something to own a cherry tree, and she was probably three or four. She wanted to go pick cherry trees. So one Saturday, me and my husband took her down there, and uh, me and her dad took her down there, and we was picking them. We picked them, and she said, now, nah, what are we going to do with them? I said, I'll tell you what, let's make a homemade cherry pie out of it. You know, and so we made a cherry pie. I made a cherry pie out of it. And my, uh, and she just told people, y'all have a cherry pie, because that was my, for my cherry tree. She was a uh, Johnny Appleseed there for a while. <laughs> okay. Mahaya? Uh-huh. All right. On that, the way you're saying that for cherry, uh -huh. uh, I was looking at it, you know, and you're saying do fumbi. Uh -huh. Okay. And I was thinking da fumbi. Da fumbi is onion. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Da fumbi is onion. And see, we cut this off. We should say i do fumbi. But we just say do fumbi. Do fumbi. Mm -hmm. A door for this chair. Huh? Yeah. I was missing that sound that you were using for yeah. that O, for that letter yeah. O. Uh -huh. so, oh, do fumbi. Uh -huh. do, yeah, do fumbi. And uh -huh. so and I was thinking do fumbi. And, so. and that's just cutting off the ido. That ido is a tree, you know, in general, ido. But we just cut it off and said do fumbi. Mm -hmm. We just say it that way. Chestnut. Mm -hmm. And see, I don't know why. I've never seen a chestnut in Oklahoma. They say there is now. On a website, it said there is, but I've never seen one. And we call it Odo. 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 They say it's, I've never seen it. I don't know if it is or not. And then there's China berry. I don't think I've seen that. If I did, I don't know what it looks like. Gornaphaga. Gornaphaga. And that's descriptive. Gornap is short for Gornawa, like a necklace. Haga means a maker, a necklace maker. Gornaphaga. So that's, a, that's a, a descriptive word for it. And then you have cottonwood. Dastaka. Dastaka is a cottonwood. Crabapple. Ijo in Bagana. And I don't think I've ever seen a crabapple. I wouldn't know what they look like. 
but uh, people say they're in Oklahoma, but I've never seen a crab apple. Do y'all have crab apples down your way, Amy? See, I've never seen No, ma'am. We don't, we don't have apples in Florida um, and I, that I'm yeah, aware oranges. of. Yeah. Um, you have oranges. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, oranges. <laughs> Mahaya. I don't know what a crab apple is. Never seen it. Dogwood, huh? Go ahead. Number sixteen again. I used to think it was buck buggy. You know. <laughs> well, buck buggy is cotton, you know, uh -huh. but uh, it's called duck duck duck. And you know, we use this uh, as medicinal purposes, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, duck, duck, we got one out in our yard. And uh, my husband said, I, I hate to, but I'm going to have to cut it down, you know, because it's getting off. Mm -hmm. And it's going we have, over. Our uh, house. We have cottonwood uh, north of us, up toward really? Flagstaff. And oh, uh, wow. yeah, so that's how, that's how I thought. It was, it was, it would be pronounced like that because okay, I used those words. words were like buck buggy, it'll. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it ain't a descriptive word, it's duck, duck, duck. Uh -huh. <laughs> and like I said, crab apple, I've never seen it. Dogwood, a duck, ha. Elm, da fosho, da fosho. Fig. I've never seen a fig tree, and I don't know why that's in there, because it's not in our area, but it's just maybe FYI or something. Gee, remember, is a mulberry. It's saying a big mulberry, gee, A gum tree, ido, julo, julo, chua, ido, julo, chua. And that's a gum tree. Hackberry. Hackberry is kago. Oh, I got. See, it says somebody said they died of a disease. So I've never seen one. I like to see one, you know, and uh, uh, I've never seen it. Hackberry, I like this word. Gabobachka. <laughs> and, you know, like I said, you know, sometimes I'll find words that I like. You know, just because of the way they sound. Gabobachka. Gabobachka. That's Hackberry. Mahaya. Uh huh. Mahaya. Uh, that fig tree, Margaret Sot. Um, uh, I know that they grow uh, around uh, uh, Palm Springs. And, oh, really? Uh, uh huh. Because my. Uh, uh, I've been, you know, uh, I've been through Palm Springs quite a bit, uh, and um, so we can buy figs, you know, coming out of there, coming uh, east, you know, mm -hmm. on the road. I guess like where that old Highway 60 used to be, or whatever, 80, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that old road, uh, we could get figs out there, and that's, you know, we used to stop and get them, and. Uh, so that guy that was selling them to us was telling us that his fig trees weren't doing that good that year, but he got some, he said. So he was he was selling what he, you know, what he could. So, but it's out there. Let's see, I'm thinking um, just like east, like you're uh, like you're gonna go back toward um, uh, there's a road that goes uh, around the mountain going down toward um, El Central, you know, uh, Mexico and uh, Mexicali and that way. And so he was saying that he grows them, you know, back around in there. Wow. See, I've never seen one in, and like I said, like they said, you know, it was this, this disease. Um, you know, that just, I guess they were around, you know. I don't know why they weren't around but they hadn't been around for us to have a name for it. Okay, mm -hmm. look at this birch tree. Octalilis, 
Chililaska, Chililaska. That's how that, that's a weird name for a birch tree, but see, like I said, it's Muscogee. And when they say birch, we say Octililaska, Octililaska. And ash, Tohatka, Tohatka. You know, black locust, Chahatta. Uh, uh, I like some of these words on here. Uh, blackjack, Sija. You know, this is the trees that, see how many trees we got that we can identify with? It's just not an idol. Idol is a tree, but an idol is just saying tree, okay? Just a tree. But when you look at all these names, we can, I, actually, we can identify these trees. You know, it, it, that's just weird to me, you know, because in the language, and that's where, um, at one time I told you, that's where I think our people were very intelligent for not knowing English. So, you know, everybody knew a Gina. Somebody had to put it to cedar. You see what I'm saying? You know, they knew Ajina, Sija, Lakjabilasti. Somebody has to say it was blackjack, black oak, and cedar. Intelligent, you know, uh, that's where I see this, uh, our people as being intelligent. Because they didn't know Elm, but they know Dahosho. So who told them it was Elm? Dahosho. The show. I like that word too, the whole show. <laughs> See, uh, like hackberry, I like that word too. Gabobachka, gabobachka. Maple, you know. You know, these things are so, uh, I don't know. I, you know, like I said, sometimes I think too much about this language and stuff, and I look at how different and how pretty it is. You know, to me, Allah sounds better than Buckeye, because to me, uh, <laughs> you know, and cedar, yeah, you know, everybody knows cedar, but we say Ajina. You know, dogwood, adapha, adap, adapha, instead of dogwood, adapha. And elm, dafosho, dafosho. You know, this to me is just really uh, different. It's a different thing and a different um, um, a word. And, you know, when I say sounds, you can hear all these sounds, dafosho. And we're going to go a little bit again, a little further into sounds tomorrow, which we're going to do like uh, words. You're going to see these sounds and these words. And I want to show you how. See, like this. Go, na, haga. Go, na, haga. And this is in your sound. So I'm going to go back over that. So I just give to have got Othibiga, sun measure. One. Othibiga, get it's there. So. Mado Mahaya. I love the class on trees. <laughs> <laughs> there are all kinds of trees. So, you know, we don't just say Ido. You know, Ido's just tree in general, but we got names for different trees. Same way with fish, snakes, vegetables. You know, we got all kinds of names for them. So, Boxing Jihitagathis. Mado. 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 Did you get anything? Uh, did, you, did these sounds help y'all? Is what I want to go back over. These sounds. These sounds right here. Did they help? Uh, I, I'm finding myself reading a lot faster, actually. I uh, was speaking all, while, while I'm reading. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. It's, it's really helpful. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome because you know Thank you. Uh, I want you to learn something. I, I want mm. you to be able to learn it, you know. Uh so uh this breaking them down is all you need, and every word is in these sounds right here. 
So, but boxing, we're going to go back over. We're going to, I'm going to do words tomorrow. Out of I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. As much as you're ready to teach, I'm ready to learn. So, mudo. <laughs> all right. That's what I like to hear, guys. And I want to say mudo to all of you. I have a lot of respect y'all taking this class. You mm. know, uh, you're helping me, me keep this language going. Mm. I don't feel like it's just uh, three or four of us doing it. Uh, I feel like there's a lot more. I feel like we're not alone. We're, we got this chain going and it's got to be done. So, Mado, everybody. Mado, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. To his office.